While ultimate fighting championships are, and mixed art, martial arts are on the rise, but is that sport as dangerous as it looks? Our Iron Mountain Bureau reporter Beth Cephalo went face to face with MMA trainers and she has the story. It's one of the nation's fastest growing sports today. Mixed martial art events pack out arenas and convention centers throughout the country. But at what expense for the fighters? A five-year study done by the John Hopkins University School of Medicine revealed stats about the injuries. 171 matches and 220 fighters were analyzed. 69 of the fights ended with at least one injured fighter. Facial lacerations was the most common injury, followed by hand, nose, and eye injuries. The overall study cited, quote, no deaths or critical sports-related injuries resulted from any of the regulated matches during the study period, end quote. Brothers Tim and Matt Halleck are both fighters and conduct mixed martial arts training at Studio 360. They say although critical injuries aren't common, it's always a possibility. You really want to train first. Some people, though, I've seen people come here for three days and then literally go for a fight and get destroyed in a minute and a half. They give all their clients a mixed workout, strengthening their body from all angles. We train mixed martial arts, jiu-jitsu, judo, boxing, kickboxing. We train um, um, some wrestling as well. Matt and Tim say to be patient. The long durations of training are crucial, conditioning the body to endure the rough contact. You got to break down every muscle. You've got to do as much cardio as possible and tighten the tendons in your kneecaps. It's the best way to do it. It's the only way to do it. Both brothers add the best fighter isn't all muscles. You need heart to survive the sport. Beth Cephalou, TV6 News, Iron Mountain.